Magma is rising fast in the Reckoners Peninsula from the Swartzengi to the Grindavik. And we are getting ready for the next eruption. From left to right, as you can see, we had the Sundonka. In the distance of less than a month, we had the second one, which was the Grindavik uh, Hagafell. And now we are preparing for the next one. The past one has already reached the surface. This arrow shows that one. These are the tremors at the depth that shows that. And the second one is already rising. This is the magma rising, opening up of the earth crust. And the tremor chart shows that the lines have changed. They're back to normal. They will change, switch again. And the earthquakes are calming down gradually. But the stretching of the lithosphere in this area is continuing. Rift Valley is forming their new rift valley. The blue line shows that the blue area is already one kilometer wide, 30 centimeter deep, but it will continue to actually widen up and deepen up as it goes. At this time, people are considering the future. Does it worth to stay at this place all the time be under the stress that any moment your backyard will be a volcano. You want to live near there, or you want to be somewhere far away, on an airplane probably, going to somewhere warmer, or living and looking at it from a distance. In an airplane to Mediterranean Sea, you will be forgetting all of that trouble. Community leaders and people are asking this question, should we, somebody pay us through the insurance, for example. So we give up the land, the house, the flats, the apartments, and just go. Is anybody going to do that? Is the government of Iceland probably, insurers, or EU, better than anything else, EU and United States of America? This is Western Alliance. We have to help each other. This is the time to stretch a hand of uh, help to these people. We have lost everything practically. The fragile cannot be saved. Grindavik has experienced the most astounding earthquakes we have seen so far in Iceland. A swarm of earthquakes split the town. Cracks appeared, some of them three kilometers long. We are not trying to fill them up, but it's futile, I believe. Because these cracks are not the cracks just created by the landslides, subsidence, things like that. This is land rising, falling down, and then rising back. This is tectonism. Mid-Atlantic reach here is opening up. We are creating earth, new ground, by the magma rising to the surface. And in the process, these cracks will widen up and make pathway for the molten rock to come up. This is a rift valley situation where we have a rift opening up, the middle part falling, both sides are rising. This is what we see in Grindavik. This is historically what we see. There is a reason that there is a port there, a shallow water safe enough for the ship to anchor there. There is a reason the two sides of it are higher than the middle part where the port is. And that is the process that has started not now, not this year, decades ago, probably millions of years ago. And nothing can fill up that crack. Otherwise, Grindavik will not exist. That port is there because this crack was created. And it is not going to be stopped. Nothing can fill it. It's futile. Saving Grindavik.